So let me ask you about, uh, you know, the budget cycle. How important is it for it to return to the January, December? Because some people would argue that, well, I mean, if it was, the 2018 budget was passed in, in June. And so now the 2019 budget, you know, the, the National Assembly has passed, it's just to translate it to the government. And so there's no lapse, really, because it still covers. But then there are other arguments that you have to return to the January, December cycle. How important is that and what do you intend to do? Because there's a lot of horse trading and blame trading everywhere. I, I, I don't want to bring that up. So how do you intend to return to that? Uh, let me say that legally we are fine. I mean, the budget last, the 20, uh, uh, 18 budget, budget was passed in June by its, uh, by its uh, provisions. It's for one year. Still running. Still running till June. So we don't have any legal problem. There are no legal, there are no legal issues. However... In planning, because the budget is not a budget just for government. It's a, a budget that it should signal to the private sector. And so in order to do that, the, most of the private sector have a January to December fiscal year. And so for their planning, they need to know what government's plans are. So that is why it is important for us to go back to January to December fiscal year. Another reason is important is that it's very difficult to track where you have a recurrent budget running from January to December, capital budget running from June to June. A lot of overlap, tracking becomes quite difficult. And so the ideal should be January to December. However, when a budget starts in June or July, in order to get the next budget to be January to December, you have to complete work and on the new budget, say by September, at a time when you've not even operated the, the current budget at all. So you don't even know what to put in the new budget. For instance, assuming you have a project which you have already started funding in the 2018 budget, how do you know whether the project is going to be completed so you don't need to put the 2019 budget? Or is it only 50% that's going to be done to so put 50%? Or is it going to be the 20% to put 80%? You just don't have a clue. Well, it seems to me now, from what you're saying, that that may never happen. No, it can January, happen. December it, can, it can happen. It is, I'm just telling you the challenges. In order for it to happen, the two sides, the executive and the national assembly, have to sit down and work it out and say, we're going to make a number of assumptions here. We want you, because... Ultimately, if we send them to you and you don't accept them, then it becomes difficult. Let us sit down and do it together. In order for that to happen, the chemistry between the executive and the legislature has to be right. Unfortunately, because of the nature of the way the leadership emerged in 2015, in both the Senate and the House, that chemistry was never fully achieved. Because you know what you need is a situation where the executive and the leadership sit down together as one group with one common purpose and say we must achieve it. Which means that when the budget gets to the National Assembly they don't spend much time on it. There is no fault finding looking for this thing on either side. Um, so that is what we need. It, and why I say it is it can be achieved, is that if the new leadership of the National Assembly that emerges is totally aligned with the executive, they have to be totally aligned because it is a difficult exercise, an exercise that requires a real rapprochement, a real intensive feeling of one government to achieve it, and it can be achieved. So if the leadership of the National Assembly that emerges is a leadership that feels totally aligned with the executive. They can sit down and it can be done. It's a human problem. That is all it is. It's a human problem. Uh, and and it, it can be done. Yes. And, I'm, I, and I feel that if that were to happen, they will sit down and they say, you know what, let's do it. And then once you do it the first time, you get it back. Subsequent years will be well, will be easy. much easier, yes. Be easy. uh, because there were complaints about NDAs not turning up to defend you see, they, you know, they, the budget they, that when is, they that told is, them to That come. is why I'm saying that. Once the two sides are not aligned, then false finding starts. Mm. Uh, there'll always be something, you know, no matter how you do a budget, 
it cannot be perfect. There are millions of items in the budget. If someone is looking for a fault, someone you can always they find, they will find it. So the issue is that, but if the two sides are working together on the same template with a commitment, a joint commitment. So in short, we have to clap with two hands. The executive cannot achieve it alone. No matter how uh, determined the executive is, they cannot achieve it alone. The National Assembly cannot achieve it alone either, no matter how determined they are. The only way it can be achieved is if the two sides come together and they sit down and say, you know what, let us do this in the interest of Nigeria. And I believe it can be done. So let's talk about, you know, because you're saying if you're going to go back to that cycle, you have to start preparing from September. Do you think... Not preparing from September, you have to finish, you have to finish by, September. by September. Do you yeah. think that's possible this year? Of course, why not? If the, the when census, the 2019, you don't even have it yet. We don't have it. Assuming the 2019 budget is signed into law, say, in June, or end of May or June, it's signed into law in June, the new leadership emerges. Uh, the National Assembly. And sometime in June, the executive sits down with the National Assembly and says, this is what needs to be done. Can we agree to do it together? It has to be joint. The credit has to be joint because no side can claim credit. But, but according to what you said about yes. the fact that, I mean, you have not even finished spending this, so you don't even know what to put in the next one. But that's what the, I'm the, saying. That problem they still have, exists. No, what I'm saying is you now have to assume some things. That assumption requires the two sides agreeing. You may decide, for instance, to agree that this budget, the budget that we're running right now, will expire in December, whatever happens. So we're going to assume that it's only going to be a 30% spend. Okay. And, and both sides agree. Okay. So we don't introduce any new projects. And both sides agree. You know, that these things need political, it's just like I can, can agree that we introduce no new projects. So in short, the 2020 is just a continuation of 2019. We introduce no new projects, we introduce no this. We just repeat most of the 2019 in 2020. We assume that we're only going to do say 30% or 20% of it, so we'll put 70% of it. And we all agree to that. If that is agreed, you can finish the budget, oh. you, can finish, you can finish the budget in one or two months, say the National Assembly, they don't waste time, they pass it in November, by December, it's signed into law. That, need, that is what I'm talking about. It would need a lot of assumptions to be made, and it means that both sides have to sit down and say, let us do this in the national this interest. Okay. That's why I said you need the two sides. You need the executive, the National Assembly. It can be done. I have been on both sides. Our General Operation Committee, in the Senate, our chairman of the planning committee of the Senate, I've been minister for budget, so and I know that if the two sides decide to decide do to do it, it can be done. Okay. Quickly, one last question: What do you think about the AFCTA? Do you see Nigeria signing anytime soon? Well, I'm not actually handling that as a ministry of yes. uh, of investment, so I'm not uh, on top of that. On top of it, I'm not familiar okay. with exactly, but I know there are lots of work. Has been done. Consultation has been done, but I wouldn't. I couldn't tell you exactly, exactly what things are. What things are. Thank you so much, um, you. you know, Senator Udogoma, for stopping by and talking to us. Um, I wish you had the 2019 budget. Then we would have had, you know, more conversations of that as well. So we'll just wait until that gets to you. Thank but I also you. do know that handover is, is imminent, so we might not be able to talk, uh, you know, before that happens. But hopefully, if you, uh, you know, return as a minister, we would uh, like to call on you again to come and talk about the 2019 budget. Th thank you very much for having me. I, ha I have to say that. Um, I'm one of those who is very optimistic about Nigeria. You know, we always have issues. Every country has issues. If you look at where some countries similar to us in the US were 200 years ago, 100 years ago, they had the same issues. I believe our issues can be solved. And I believe that what we need to do is to concentrate on the positive and stop talking about the negatives. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Um, we will return now to normal programming today with Classic FM 94.3 Abuja, the station that plays every song you know. Now we are.